This is the person we've been hearing about throughout the mission, Pedro. If you're looking to play doubles, go find someone else, all right? Do I look like a guy who wants to play doubles? Uh, 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 oh. And things are falling apart very quickly for him. I say very quickly, but it's uh, more like a long time coming. Curtis has been cleaning up everything he's part of. We don't have anything to do here. This is as usual for the two part missions. If you want to dump points, you can. If not, just turn around and continue the mission. Time to say your prayers. Uh, 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 help! Help! No! Help! For, for, forgive me! For, forgive me! What was that? Do I sense regret? Just because you apologize, you think you'll be forgiven? Just like that? Didn't you notice the dead bodies behind you? Huh? Your folks. No. You're lying. Your wife's name is Pamela, right? And your son, Paul. What have you done to them? Ah, Pamela sure has a mole in a unique place. You know, it kind of turned me on. No, you, you didn't. You bastard! Paul, he's such a sissy. He didn't even try to save his mother. What are you teaching your kids? Fuck! Do you feel the hate swelling? That hate that comes from your grudge. It's merely a reflection of you. Ask yourself, Pedro. How many children have you killed? M Mary? You mean your little girl, Mary? Mary? Where is she? Ah, right here. And just like that, Pedro's out of the picture. It's uh, all coming together for Curtis Blackburn a little bit. He's like pretty much killed everyone. Uh, come on, uh, let's get out of here. Yeah. Poor kid. He's just an innocent little child. I know. That's atrocious, ain't it? Both of our main characters commenting on what they've seen before them. You might notice as we go through these areas that they're the only ones with actual, like, conscious opinions on how horrifying it is. A lot of what goes on in this arc is about... Obviously, Curtis, Dan, Pedro, and all of them have had and have opinions on what they're doing. But they put their conscience aside for the power they get. For Garcian and Mills, you get the sense that it's actually a boundary. I'm just going to go ahead and take these guys out. Uh, trust me when I say we will not be wanting for any kind of thick blood. There's time to spare. I'm gonna need that. 
and not the stamina. Firing. I think I already had that equipped. Also paying too close attention. I just remember that I need to make sure it's on. Quite a few things to do. Almost immediately. Actually, I have Kevin. Let's make this quicker. Yeah, uh, you're watching these families get killed, and you're watching all these bad things happen. People getting hurt, people being sad. Not a single character introduced in this plot so far <laughs> is all that innocent. I'm gonna say Clements is the closest you get to a true good character. Well, Meta in second place, but... You know. As good as a cult can be. He Omeda kind of represents the American dream, like the true version of it, where you, you come from nothing, become something huge. So he, in a sense, is like lawful good, or actually, I probably could say chaotic good. Anyway. Oh, we got a picture aside. The one problem is that it's a black and white photo. The nice thing is that if you're stuck, there's a hint man over to my left. I'm not gonna talk to. I don't need him. He has some funny things to say though. He takes my blood, so I don't need to. Look at us. Hiding out of the whole time, it's Susie. Thank you, Susie. An antiseptic room. One in white looked after me. The room was... That's right, solitary confinement. The final stop for killers. Which is why Susie is such a shoo in for the, uh, the team. Might be a little uncharacteristic, but we're gonna trade in everything for the damage ring. Oh, I got hit by that and died. Whoops. So now that we've uh, got the garage, we can actually switch out to Dan here. Dan's gonna be collecting our second bullet. Well, second, first actually. The second item. Uh, we're gonna talk to Travis real quick because he's actually got info on why any of this is even happening in the first place. Pedro broke the agreement that him and Curtis actually had a deal on. Because of the heaven smiles, that things started going awry. The Heaven Smiles at this point are a pretty big issue. 
No one's actually doing anything to contain it. It's like, for all the tragedy that's happening in this scenario, no one would have stopped if it wasn't for the heaven smiles. Things would not have changed. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so this next bit, I'm actually going to need it quite a bit. First off, I'm going to have to run all the way up. Break this thing. Grab it quickly. That's our shell. Because enemies are spawning up behind us. Luckily, we don't need to worry about the range this time. But yeah, um, lastly, we're here <laughs> summoned by the government to take out Curtis Blackburn, who helped Curtis set up in the first place, Curtis Pedro and Dan. Dan <laughs> was mentioned as a part of the setup before he was taken out. Goodness, my aim right now. Not good. Don't need to worry about getting flashed here. Only so much to care about. You get to talk to a pigeon. This is from Johnny again. And he writes again to Amir. Dear Amir, I tend to be a little stubborn. Even so, you'll probably forgive me. Of course you will. You're the one who hasn't paid me. You'll pay every last dollar one way or another. I assure you. I'll crush your palpating heart in the palm of my hand. I'll bend your wings backwards. Her name is Susie Sumner. Susie Sumner. She's a loose cannon with a vicious, with vicious criminal intent. Oh my goodness. She was apprehended under the National Watch program, but killed several of the program's directors. After requesting work from the Smith Syndicate, she was eliminated. The boy's name is Kess Bloody Sunday, like his namesake. He was killed on Sunday. His criminal tendencies were such that even the Smith Syndicate were reluctant to kill him at first. The boy was a remorseless killer, born with murderous tendencies and latent talent to construct complex bombs. The informant's name is Yoon Hyun, the owner of he was the owner of the Union Hotel Group. He met an untimely death at the Union Hotel in Philadelphia. Many celebrities were at the reception. Nevertheless, there were few witnesses to the murder, and many of the facts don't add up. Yet one thing he is for sure, he was involved with the Smith Syndicate. Rumor has that an incident that happened at the hotel was swept conveniently under the rug. Remnant Psyche is surrounding the Smith Syndicate have come together. Every last one of them is a hard-boiled criminal. Members of the Smith Syndicate are no ordinary killers. They're superhuman monsters. Set our psychos fair game. I will contact you just one more time. Johnny Gannon. And since we have only one left after this, it's a safe game to point out that all the birds are named after specifically Bond girls. Uh, which I feel like is a fun <laughs> wink wink nudge nudge. Not in the I got inspired completely by a thing I watched and now it's going to be my game. More of a I, I like this naming convention. <laughs> Only those who know will appreciate this. And those who don't will just be like cool names. <laughs> We're already at another bullet. Our boy here actually just tells us that there's one here. We got a traitor to help us notice that we could break the wall. A character specific power. Upgraded mask should be able to just take out this wall very simply. <laughs> Thank you. 
but I would have switched back to Gan. To, uh, Gan? Dan? Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> also, enemies are respawning, so I've got to pay attention to the surroundings. If I so choose, we could just sit here and farm for a bit. <laughs> well, I don't think I'm going to get the uh, weak spot. I think the enemy behind me is getting closer. No. Oh, no. Where's the laughing I'm hearing coming from? Oh, one more beer before you get me one away. No. So. This next segment, we gotta be sneaky. Um, this is a big area. We're introduced to the double Z protector. And we <laughs> don't need to care. We get the trader who helps in tell us in their own unique way. We just walk past everyone. You know, I could activate my... Or I gotta dispel my invisibility right now. They couldn't catch us. Doesn't matter. Got a few more things to do. First thing we gotta do is <laughs> check each hallway. Each hallway has its own puzzle to solve. I'll let me get closer before I do this. Easy enough. In this room, we can turn off the security to make traveling back through. The center area easier center area of this building. We also have something that we need to inspect on each side of the walkway. I picked Kevin when I meant to pick Han. <laughs> Don't need to worry about that. We're gonna be doing a cutscene anyway. <laughs> Fuck you. It's the second item for opening the puzzle piece. What we got? Ghost Omega. Omega is going to tell us that he has the Yakumo with Clemens. Except for without withdrawal without Constant stimulus of danger. Garcian Smith. Just like you. The kill to feel alive, right? It's a little funny that Andre is addressing Garcian. Since, uh, you know. Well, we're, we're not exactly Garcian right now. Got another body on the screen. But I, it, it's fine. It, it works like that anyway. Um, small detail. I had to hold off on just kind of saying it out loud. Since it was a concept not introduced immediately in the game. But how did it happen? How did Andre Omega even <laughs> attain success as he did? <laughs> and the reason is... That he had a piece of the Yakuma. The thing that everyone was 
killing each other for in the exact last chapter, or the second chapter, uh, Sunset. Fuck you. The reason talks were breaking down the thing that parties were at each other's throats to get their hands on. It was for the completed Yakumo. But Andre Omeda doesn't have the completed Yakumo. He has a small fragment of it in comparison to what it is. No, I'll take on. What I need to do is push the time ring for what's coming up. Doesn't seem like a big deal, but kind of is. Um, that's... It, it puts into perspective that the Yakumo is powerful enough a fragment can get an everyday man and turn their entire life around and make them a mythical figure, make them super, as powerful as they are. As dangerous as Andre Omeda was in the face of actual, like, governmental powers. Fuck you. Even though it was a sham, like, they, the government still... Kinda had control, kinda. It's like, there, there's now perspective for what the Yakumo can do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do my best to get everyone's counter attack at least once before the end of this. I feel like we've seen half of the cast, we need to get the other casts, other other half of the cast. It's to kill. Like I said, we don't need to worry about collecting thick blood, we're already full up. And for this next segment, we're gonna just stay mask. Now that Mask actually has decent power, it definitely feels like, at this point, the uh, game devs realized they wanted him to be around and useful. First thing we need to do, wake up Coyote. And we wake up Kaede. Yes, that's everyone. Yeah. Yeah. I'll just set them on fire. Piece of cake. <laughs> the last thing I want to do before we keep going. Fuck are you? I feel my blood rushing through my body. Yes, this is it. The feeling is coming back to me. The sensation of killing. The counter attack the and double attack. I the don't. Dark streets. They're calling me, calling me to the ultimate ring. I don't want to give him too many upgrades because he gets triple tap, which is good if you're looking to just defeat an enemy normally. This is a weak point game. This is a game about shooting weak points. Kind of don't want triple tap. I get why it's a good move, why, why double and triple tap are good moves. But they don't exactly gel with what the meta and Ooh, the style of the game is. So, in some ways, they weaken you. We've also been starving our boy over here. We'll give him invisibility up. He's got an ability, a unique one himself, that we haven't been able to really get into. Maybe we'll be able to show off more of that. In a bit. <laughs> For now, and the reason I saved is because... So I messed up. But luckily, we need to sit here for the curtains to fall before anything happens.
I gotta be very careful. I actually have 10 vials, which is the maximum, so I should be decent on healing. With the power ring, your attack damage goes up. But my range is still not good. I realized the mistake I made and I was I missed my shot. I think shots in this fight is very dangerous. Especially right now while I'm missing a lot of them. a lot of health too so you really don't want to miss up with this fight on anything other than uh master smith My aim, right? Generally, you don't want to shoot behind her, is what I've come to notice. Should be almost done now. One, two, three, four. That's it. Underneath is, it's not an anime girl for realsies. She's the only character in the game who actually speaks real Japanese. And up in the air if she actually even is Japanese. It's all fake. It's a mask. Um, if you don't recognize the character model, you're, you'd be forgiven, but that is the girl at the end of the immigration office cutscene. The one girl sitting in the chair. <laughs> At this point, we should be pretty close at clearing out the map. If I've done my job correctly. I've grabbed all the bullets, and I'm not forgetting anything, which would be a mistake. It'd be a mistake. Gotta wait for these guys to climb the stairs. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Adios. Yeah, using mask uh, for that fight is your best option. Not even because the fight is uber challenging, so you want to tank it. It almost feels intentional that you need to be using mask there. Now we're able to approach the final areas 
of uh, this level. I <laughs> completely missed uh, or passed up going to this area early because if you come here early, you can't expect anything. Nothing's loaded in, et cetera, et cetera. Um, you can only actually truly walk around this area until after you've killed Ayami. I think Ayami is also one of the few human characters you actually kill. Fading way to high up old ends. I feel like the text to speech says kill the past, which is a very specific thing. Or the text to say it is important, I swear. I'll flip this off. Well, on, so we can drain the pool. And if I remember correctly, all that's this way is another entrance back to the courtyard in case you missed one of the bullets. <laughs> A lot of what's here is shortcuts, etc. Make sure that you can backtrack if you didn't find everything you needed to. Where is you? No. There it is. This is your fan service for the day. Almost as hot as that one faithful day, right, Smith? Chief knows. Oh, the chief knew this was an unlucky day. I believe here is a good spot to hit the save. Make sure that we don't run into some bad luck. Oops. Turned a little too early. Yeah, and it should be.